Welcome, here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to configure your Xbox 360 controller in RetroArch. Um, so basically you're going to want to launch RetroArch and this is the main menu. So if this is your first time you have no controller configured within RetroArch, we're going to use our keyboard. So we're going to go over to the gears and we're going to go down to input. We're going to press enter. Now we're going to go down until we get to input user one binds we're gonna press enter now we're gonna go down until it says user one B button um, now RetroArch is they base their button layouts on Super Nintendo uh, button layout so they're actually reversed um, from the Xbox 360 so for your B button, you're going to want to use A on your Xbox 360 controller. So how we do that is I'm going to press enter and I'm going to press A on my Xbox 360 controller. Next, we're going to go to Y, which is X on your Xbox 360 controller. So go ahead and press enter and then we're going to press X on our Xbox 360 controller or Xbox One. Um, it's the same. Um, the select button is going to be your back button, so we're going to press enter, press back on our Xbox 360 controller. We're going to press down, we're going to go to start, and we're going to hit the start button, so enter, start. And then your D-pad, um, just press enter, D-pad up, press enter, D-pad down, press enter, D-pad left, press enter, D-pad right. Um, for your A button, you're going to want to press enter, and you're actually going to want to press your B button on your Xbox 360 controller and for your X button you're going to want to press enter and press Y on your Xbox 360 controller so for your L and R buttons um, we're going to be using L as your left bumper so we're going to press enter and we're going to press our left bumper then we're going to go down to R and we're going to do the same thing with our right bumper so enter R for our right bumper now your L2 and R2, you're going to hit enter and you're going to press uh, L2 will be your left trigger and R2 will be your right trigger. Now for L3, um, you're going to want to use your left thumbstick and all you're going to want to do is just click it like a button. So just push it in like a button. So you would hit enter, press that like a button, it's set. R3, we're going to do the same thing. You would press enter, click it in like a button, you're good to go. So now we have our left analog stick closest to our D-pad um, over on this side here. And you're just going to press enter and then you would want to press right on your an left analog stick. And you want to press enter, press left on your left analog stick. Same with down, same with up. And then we're going to repeat that process, only this time we're going to be using our right analog stick. So you press enter, press right, enter, press left, enter, press down, enter, press up. So once you have that all configured, all your buttons are configured on your 360 controller. Um, you are now, you can control RetroArch with your controller. So you don't need the keyboard any longer. So let's go up to... user one save auto config and you're going to want to press a so you would press a on your xbox 360 controller that is to choose anything within RetroArch, and to back up um, to go back a page you would just press the b button on your xbox 360 controller so go ahead and press b so now we've saved our user one uh, binds so we're going to press b again we're going to go over to this uh, first menu over here and we're going to go down to configurations, press A, go down to save current configuration, and press A. Now we can go back, and you would just go down to quit RetroArch, and press press A, and you're all done. Your, your uh, Xbox 360 controller is now configured within RetroArch, you're up and running, ready to go. So again guys, really appreciate you watching, um, please like the Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a good day.